all of us want to have more energy. We want to feel more energetic throughout the day. We don't want to feel sluggish. It's, it's a given. There's a lot of times where we're feeling sleepy and sluggish midday or later on in the day or early on in the day. And it's highly influential by two major factors. One is sleep, of course. The other one is the foods we eat, the foods we choose, right? So I wanna talk about the foods we choose. We know we need to sleep the right amount, right? I'm not gonna to talk to you about that because we know we need to sleep seven, eight hours, whatever our body needs on a daily basis. I personally sleep seven to eight hours each night, usually closer to seven hours each night. And that's, that's the sweet spot for me. As long as I get a little more than seven hours each night, I'm good. When I dip below seven, not good. So we're gonna talk about the foods you can eat to go ahead and have more energy. Starting right off, here's something you might not understand. If we really stick to having high carbohydrate foods and low fats, we're going to end up crashing by having spikes and drops in blood sugar levels and we're not going to be as metabolically flexible. Our goal is to be as metabolically flexible as possible so our body can transition fuel sources from carbohydrates to fats when one is void. But this basically means that if we don't eat carbohydrates and we've trained our body to process high fats and we have a high fat meal, well, now our body's now going to use those fats immediately as fuel and as for energy and we're gonna have a slower release of energy that is consistent. We want slow releases of energy because it's more consistent and stable and gradual so that way we can feel better and have mental clarity. The problem occurs when we have spikes in blood sugar glucose and drops. Carbohydrates are digested quite rapidly, so we get a some sort of a spike and a drop. If we have sugars, we get a real spike and then a drop. If we have some more, some more starches that are slower digesting, like brown rice, we're going to get a spike that might look like this and then this, right? Not as bad, it's much better. The goal is to get it as consistent as possible so we can feel the same all day and have clear focus. When we consume fats without carbohydrates, it does look like this right? But we don't want to always have no carbohydrates, right? Carbohydrates are a great fuel source for our training as well. So we want to have a balance. The goal is to build metabolic flexibility. How do we do that? We have high fat, high protein meals without carbohydrates. So we force our body to process the fats and use those for fuel. So now we're, our body's a bit better able to use those and we can learn and to have that consistent energy. Here's what I personally do. In the morning, if I'm eating in the morning and I'm not fasting, I'll have eggs and avocado, no carbs there. And in the morning, I'm most productive because I have that st steady fuel source. I'll have some coffee later on as well. And then when it's closer to my training, I'll have those carbs in the meal. I'll have sweet potato with chicken or, or rice. I'll have it in that pre-workout meal. I'll train and then after the workout, I'll have more carbs as well. I'll have fruit possibly after my workout with salad a chicken salad, that's what I'll have. And then I might have more carbs later on. But the key is to sprinkle in some high fat, high protein meals that don't have any carbohydrates in them. Because if we do that, we're training our body to get used to using those different fuel sources. And that's the goal. The goal is to train our body to be metabolically flexible so we don't have those crashes throughout the day. Now, if we, if we change the scenario here, guys, if we change the scenario, we say, all right, let's say we go ahead and we end up having that high sugar, high carb meal in the morning. Let's say we have that cereal first thing in the morning. Well now if we're having cereal, then we're gonna get that spike and we're gonna have that crash because you're not aware there's a lot of sugar in cereal. There's a lot of sugar in cereal, in all cereals. I'm sure that you can find some at health, health food stores that have lower sugar, but I'm telling you, pretty much all are gonna have a lot of sugar in them. So we gotta be careful of how much we actually consume and when we consume these carbohydrates if we wanna feel our best. Obviously there's times and places, you know, we're not gonna always just be on point and strict all the time. But however, if we wanna feel great, have great energy, we're going to want to try to implement what I just spoke about previously. Again, I'm gonna say it again here. Try to implement and incorporate some higher fat, high protein meals without carbohydrates. Another, uh, another thing you do is have turkey, bacon, and eggs in the morning if you don't like the avocado. There's plenty of other things you could do. In midday, you could have a protein shake with peanut butter and no carbs. Again, that's training your body to have fats for fuel and you're gonna feel more alert and productive as a result in most cases. Again, if you have questions on this, shoot them down below. Follow my Instagram for more tips, uh, like daily tips like this. It's at Anthony underscore Pietrobono. Subscribe for more vlogs, more informative fitness content, finance content, and, and my experience at music festivals. And let me know what you'd like to see more of. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.